ancient free orange. Let's get started, shall we? Um, one ups to you, my distinguished guests, and welcome to Link Cable Disconnected. I dropped my controller on the floor already, and that's how you know we're gonna have a good one. <laughs> John spent a hundred cable points. <laughs> Just to highlight a, qu a message that just says Quinn. Hi, John. Um, listen, I'm a little, I'm a little low energy at present, but everything is gonna be fine. And um, so the plan for today is crosscode. And you might be thinking, well, that that's kind of strange. Um, you don't. Crosscode is what you were playing in the real link cable session. Um, yeah, but also Crosscode is a pretty big game, and I need to make some story progress. So we're just gonna run around in Crosscode for a while. And uh, it's gonna be chill. There will be vibes. Uh, as the kids no longer say vibes or whatever. Let me, uh, bring up my music here. Since I'm the only one, uh, 
I'm the only one playing my game, I get to have full crosscode audio. Now, why... why are we having connection issues? Oh, it's because the freaking number changed. It's... Sometimes, if you don't open up your archipelago room for long enough, then, um... Things break. And by things, I mean it changes the port number that, uh... it hosts it on, so you have to, like, redo the number. So I turn in this, and I get both the yellow sand shade and... Misha's Waterfall Key, you remember that? <laughs> I know it's been a couple weeks, um, on account of Thanksgiving and what all. But that's fine. So, I got the heat element last time. Which means I need to find the mine path, don't I? I still need the mine path. I forgot uh, that I don't have the mine pass, and that I therefore can't actually go into Virgin Mine, which is the thing I need in order to actually make story progress. But I can do some other stuff. Get Legendary Hero and a 1-up. So I... I wasn't paying enough attention. The timed challenge gets me Legendary Hero, so... Let's just do the timed challenge, then. Go. I'm good at video games. I'm good at video games. I'm so good at video games. No! Shit. I, I just have to complete this trial in two minutes. Which I'm pretty sure is enough time to make a few mistakes. I've done... I've done this quest before. It's not all that bad. Patience and move. Oh, jeez. No! Shit. Doing a taste test of the Apples on Apple rankings with Doctor. You should, um, buy me a plane ticket to wherever it is that you guys are so that I could be on the episode. Oh my god, I might as well give up. There's, there's been a lot of Apple talk recently. We've been big on, uh, big on apples. What you need is not just the opinion of a, a professional, but the opinion of a hardened chewer, as famously quoted in the Kanzi Apple review. Hardened chewers. I have, since, since my whole debacle with Kanzi Apples, I have indeed gone back to my old flame, the pink lady. Because I was missing that crunch. I was missing that that crisp snap of texture on the apple. Being 
only slightly more careful here. Whoop. Ah, okay. No! Oh, my word. Ba -da. This. Hit this one. They're deactivated. Record time. You see that? Sub 90 seconds. Sub 130. God, I'm epic. Live action Quinn for apple tasting would require getting me a cosplay. Sicky Atric. Hi, Leah. Um. Hi, welcome into the stream. I am, uh. I've forgotten where my mind pass is, so I can't enter. <laughs> I can't enter the first dungeon of the game until I find it. Uh, I'm playing a random. Player. And I've got. So many things. Repair the generator in the basement of Kermit's house. I think I can do that because I have heat now. Let's go to Kermit's house. That'll get me a really good weapon because I've been hurting for a good weapon for this entire game. Generator in the basement. Um, how was this supposed to work? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> We're really getting into some some true crosscode stuff here. With aiming puzzles. How am I going to get that? How am I going to hit that one? How could I possibly hit that one? Um... It's crazy how I don't remember this room at all. See, that shot was like so close, but it's not happening for me for some reason. Oh, I bet I need to bounce off that one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm learning, I'm thinking. I am the smart crosscode player. Yes! Oh, I'm a genius. Now I just need to what? Like kick this? Give it a good punch. Generator repaired, baby. Oh, much better. The AC is fixed, baby. Let's go. John, I'm not gonna acknowledge that joke. It's not funny. Try it again. Trader's Den is down here. Quest complete! Adept gloves, baby! This gives me repost, reset your perfect arm, landing a successful perfect card. Awesome. What else do I have in my quests that I should try to kick off? Uh, 
I can grab a circuit override from this quest. Ooh, the thief's key for the uh, Cave of Aspiration. I haven't found the data probe yet in Virgin Trail. There's a snowman piece in a petty crime hunter. I think I need to go back to the Challenge of Aspiration. Which is somewhere over here, right? Yeah. I need to complete both of these challenges is the problem. So yeah, I need... No. Deactivate Garden. Cast away my shield. So I need to do both the time trial and the shieldless challenge. Up. I want to get both the Shieldless and the Timed Challenge on the same run, but I really don't think that's uh, likely. <laughs> now, John, when you say way more aggressive than Mish, are you referring to chat being an aggressive co-host, or are you just saying that I'm an asshole? <laughs> No, no! Ah! No, no, no! Oh! Oh, I'm not dead! Oh, my word! Alright! <laughs> Sorry, I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move. Chat is more aggressive. I am also an asshole. Is the thing. Ah! Chat is allowed to be aggressive at me because I'm aggressive at me. <laughs> Link Cable Disconnected, in a way, is an entire show based around myself needing to atone for the crimes that I commit against my co-host in regular Link Cable episodes. <laughs> mm, yeah, there was no way I was going to be able to dodge that. I've probably already passed my uh, target time. But I'm not terribly worried about it. Ugh. Gang, I feel. Beatboxing. Beatboxing puppy? Uh. The beatboxing puppy sound redeem that apparently exists uh, didn't seem to work. <laughs> Study as a rock. Oh, God. Okay, hit this one. They're gonna go across. No? They're gonna just go counterclockwise and screw with me? Okay, we're gonna be here a while. We're gonna be here for a little while. Get comfortable. Oh, God. Steady as a rock. Oh! 
I'm, I'm, I'm doing so poorly. Um, so, <laughs> what what have uh, what have you guys been up to in the past couple weeks, eh? Let's get a healthy dialogue going. Let's let's have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> the video game's gonna be boring for a bit. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good American Thanksgiving. Hope everyone enjoyed an American Thanksgiving. Okay, here's that cross section. Hit this, it deactivates. And it moves me, and I win! It took me four and a half minutes to beat the No Shield Challenge! Now, I get to keep my shield, but I have to do this all really fast this time. Don't even care. Hit the checkpoint, I'm not losing that many seconds off of my time for this. Up, 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 up. Patience. Oh wait, no, no, it's not, it's not patience. It's not time for patience, it's time to shoot orbs. Now patience, fuck! Okay, um, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna start over. What's up, gay people? Um, everyone in chat, you're gay? Everyone of the hosts, we're, I'm gay? Um, hope everyone has been enjoying, uh, having some homosexual relations lately. I know I have been, uh... God, I'm, I'm hitting the targets off the screen. I'm so epic gamer that I got distracted and I got hit by a bullet and fell off. <laughs> uh. Here's to the ladies. So is that the whole of the beatboxing puppy redeem? Is it just a voice that says beatboxing puppy? I thought maybe it was going to be the audio of the beatboxing puppy. <laughs> Shit. What's my target time that I'm trying to beat here? I don't remember. If you think watching Link Cable Disconnected is fun, wait, wait till you see... Uh, link cable. When I'm connected, that's when the real fun begins. I have a bad habit, uh, on link cable disconnected of, uh, God damn it. God fucking damn it. Here's to the ladies. Um,. I have a bad habit on Link Cable Disconnected of doing things in video games that are very difficult and painful, because I think it's very funny. I need to redo the challenge. <laughs> I failed the challenge. I should check my quest list real quick. Yep, two minutes I have to do this. Up, 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 up. 
Are you seeing, like, my epic gamer moves on this screen are so epic and cool, damn it! I'm so good at this screen that it makes me bad at the next part. <laughs> Ignore the part where I died a second ago. We go. All right, I've got 60 seconds on the clock. Keep it moving, keep it grooving. Steady as a rock. Let's get this. Uh, just gotta stand here. That's all. And that's game. Whew! Got it. Back to the monastery. Talk to the monk. And now I get a thief's key, which unlocks a lot of chests for me. I forgot to open up my pop tracker window. Um, you know what? Since I'm doing kind of a... kind of a weird, just like a silly... little one. Do you want to see something cool? Oops. Hold on, I have to, uh... connect this back to Archipelago. I'm gonna give you a look behind the scenes of uh, Pop Tracker. I'm gonna show you what Pop Tracker is live. <laughs> um, let's see. I want a window capture. You can see one of the ways that I'm making this like. Uh, Possible for myself. It's Pop Tracker. It looks like this. Um, I currently have it set up to Maroon Valley, but if I go to, say, the town of Virgin Village, take a look at that. And if I was really cool, um, if I was really cool, I could like. Maybe take out the pure black and make it sort of transparent. Sort of. It's kind of cool, right? If I did something like that. I don't know. Uh, if I just put this over top of chat, I don't. I don't. There's not like a place where I can put this on screen without it covering something up. But I think it look. I think it's kind of neat. And and here's what this program is used for, right? Uh, oh, you can't can't read that. Yeah, this uh, this filter thing is was kind of a stupid idea. Um, should be able to see that. Yeah. So, um, there's a chest here on this screen of Virgin Valley that I can access because it's green. Um, and there's a chest here that I can access because it's green. But if I try to go to Basin Keep, all of these chests are red because I can't get here yet. Uh, so they are considered not in logic, and therefore I can't have them. Let's see. There's plenty of chests that I need to find in Virgin Valley. Uh, but also, uh, we're, we're going to take Pop Tracker off the screen. 
Goodbye, Pop Tracker. And hello, uh, Hint Machine. Where's Hint Machine? This is the other way that I keep myself sane during a large archipelago game. And you've seen Hint Machine before. Uh, I believe... Is it still over here somewhere? No. Don't look at that either. Man. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just pulling up Hint Machine really quickly so that I can try and find where my mind pass is. It is in Gaia's Garden. In order to get to Gaia's Garden, I need something or other. I don't even remember where Gaia's Garden is, man. Is it past Virgin? Gaia's Garden is up here, which would mean that I could. I'm supposed to get to it via Autumn's Rise. I forgot that I have Citron with me. He's my friend. I head over here. And I try to go north at this laser bridge, and it says there's a shade that I'm missing, and it looks like this, and it's the red flame shade. Um, let's. My red flame shade is in a quest called Preemptive Mining, which is really interesting because there's not actually a quest named Preemptive Mining anywhere. That's not a real thing. Um,. There's one called Preemptive Debugging, which is in the Burgeon Village Digging Mates headquarters. Which is to the north. This place. Oh, now, okay, so now he believes that I have beaten the dungeon because I have the heat element. That means that I can progress by doing this series of side quests. Thank God. It's not the most intuitive as to when you, like, when the game thinks you have completed a dungeon in a randomizer. Now... I remember this quest chain being annoying, but not that bad. So, this is going to spawn in... Something? What am I trying to do here? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Am I supposed to go up here and like... Here we go. Explosives. These are important. The bugs. Also important. You have to hit the bugs with the explosives in order to make them uh, vulnerable to damage. See? And if I fall down here, I don't have access to the bombs. Damn. Ugh. I'm not actually being timed here, so I can... I can be inefficient. 
Plus, because I'm I have a really good uh, weapon now, I can actually kill these things on their own, which is a lot easier than trying to break them with the explosives. I'll tell you that much. Who else? Um, who else in chat? Um, goes and visits their family for holidays or whatever, and then your family's accent rubs off on you for like a week. Anybody? Is that me? Is that just a me thing? Is that all my spider? No, I'm still missing some. That do it. Why? I'll tell you a little story. which is, uh, not relevant or interesting. Um, so I started... After over a decade of using the damn website, I've finally started to use, um, following tags. I've started following tags on Tumblr, which means that I get posts from that particular tag in my normal dashboard. Just whatever, like, random, popular, or newest post in a given tag. And, of course, uh, one of the first tags I follow is the crosscode tag, because I want to see everything about crosscode ever, always, and forever, and always. On account of crosscode is my favorite game. And... There were, like, one or two posts that kept showing up for me. Um, that kept, that referred to CrossCode as having a Kingdom Hearts-inspired combat system. And because the combat in CrossCode is so, like, absolutely perfect, delicious, tasty, that made me want to go back and try to give the Kingdom Hearts series another go. So in the past few weeks, I've been playing a ton of uh, Kingdom Hearts. I played through all of Kingdom Hearts 1, and just last night, I played and finally beat Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories, which is the remake of the Game Boy Advance game that takes place in between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And that took me, like, almost twice as long as it took me to beat Kingdom Hearts 1. But it was also at least twice as fun as Kingdom Hearts 1. So, I had a pretty good time with it, although the I would say the second campaign in that game kind of drags toward the end. Crosscode does not want me to complete the quest by actually fighting these bugs the way that I'm doing it, but I don't care. This is way easier and faster than trying to use the bombs. Guaranteed. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking about having a a good old-fashioned hyperfixation on Kingdom Hearts for a while. So I'm gonna be pretty insufferable. Uh, probably for the next month or two. But I just started Kingdom Hearts 2, and I've learned that people who say they're Kingdom Hearts fans are really just fans of Kingdom Hearts 2. And a lot of them are like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 kind of sucks, and Chain of Memories was too weird, so... But Kingdom Hearts 2 is the good one. So I can't wait to play the good one, now that I've already spent about 40 hours playing Kingdom Hearts. But I'm also, because I'm a freak, I'm also, um, 
giving a shot to the DS games, which I find to be very impressive. They're fully 3D Kingdom Hearts games on the Nintendo DS. Uh, and those games are recoded and, um, what's the other one called? 358 Days Over 2, which is the second most insane name for uh, a Kingdom Hearts game. It's I, I think it's shown up only by Kingdom Hearts 0.2 birth. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage, which is a very fun name. But even even saying all that, it, it doesn't even really hold a candle to the best video game name of all time, which is Tetris the Grandmaster 3, Terror Instinct. Uh, let's see. So in order to get the rest of this quest chain, I probably need to progress in Maroon Valley. But I believe I need two shades in order to access. No, I've, I have obtained whichever shade this was so I can access the second dungeon of the game before I can get to the first one. I wonder if I can uh, invite Emily to my party. Yippee! Gang, it is finally time to do a dungeon. Now, will I be able to progress in this dungeon? Um, signs point to no, honestly, because, uh, I don't have the cold element, and you're supposed to get the cold element in this dungeon, but because it's randomized, that's definitely not gonna happen for me, you know? I can make some progress. You can see how epic and cool I am. Uh, by, by watching how fast I can complete all these epic puzzles. This chest is supposed to have a key in it, but it doesn't because I uh, cheated. And I gave myself all of the small keys in this game. Uh, the dungeons are obviously Zelda style. So there's a bunch of small keys that are interchangeable that will get you um, specific... That, that will get you the normal doors. Damn you. Ugh. Man, fuck this guy. Ugh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Gotcha. Hello, gamers. Gamers, sound off in the chat if you game. If you're a gaming gamer, go ahead and drop a games in the chat for me. Just let me know if you play games. Let me know if you gaming, because that would be pretty gamer of you. There we go. Hope everyone's been having a, a gaming lately. Gang, my my brain is like not functioning today. <laughs> oh Jesus. My brain is functional enough to solve these puzzles, but not enough to provide any sort of entertaining uh 
entertaining fucking monologue. So, you know. Gotcha! These moth guys are very fun. And here is your first introduction to the cold element. And here's your first introduction to my... Probably my least favorite of the Zelda-style uh, dungeon gimmicks. Which is having to go fucking up and down and up and down across different levels of the same dungeon. What do you want for Robot Christmas? Um, I actually found some really cool looking uh, robot face masks that I want for Robot Christmas. Not fast enough. Damn, still not fast enough. Sort of like Daft Punk, but also kind of, um, kind of global pandemic core. They're these, like, I'm sure they're probably just like 3D printed plastic or something, but they look kind of metallic. Um, and they're face mask protectors, is what they are. Um, you wear them over top of a face mask, and it looks epic. And I put them on my Christmas gift list. List of things that I want for Christmas. Other than that, though, I've, I've been committing the cardinal sin of being an adult, which is that I was buying myself, myself, little gifts in November instead of, um, now what the fuck do they want me to do from here? Aha! Well, I figured it out, but I I didn't figure it out in time. There's there's one particular thing that I do desperately want, which is um, they make full face. Let me see here. I see. They make full face sunglasses so that your entire head basically just becomes orb and I want one of those really bad because I think it would be super nice and cool to put that on and walk around a grocery store um, and have autism <laughs> crucial element of it is the having autism part Oh, I got both of them. Oh, 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 shit. All right. Pow. Gotcha. And now here's three of them. Come on. Yes, we got it. We're good. Gotcha. Okay. Twenty twenty four. Planning on trying to figure out how my autism works and min max myself. If you want to, um, oh god, I still have hint machine on the screen. I don't want to have hint machine on the screen. Get out of there. If you want 
uh, some help on that. There is a book that I recently read that helped me figure out my autism so that I can min-max min myself. And I've been doing some uh, autism maxing, as the freaks might say. Now, how exactly do I want to do this? The book is called Unmasking Autism by Dr. Devin Price. And I can't recommend it enough. It's not the DSM-5. Dr. Devin Price is, in fact, autistic and knows what they are talking about. Go here. But I don't think that actually helps me at all. I need to freeze this block. Ah. See if I can do this fast enough. Yes! Epic. Hmm. There we go. of an idiot. <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to do it like this. And then... And here's a chest. It contained the cold element! Oh my god, the cold element was inside the dungeon. Probably ask for a webcomic book to not out myself completely. Okay. I mean, I found a copy of Unmasking Autism at a Barnes & Noble, although it took me a couple trips in order for them to have it in stock. Uh, Emily here is afraid of bugs. Don't you know that moths play an important role in our ecosystem? They're also a great indicator for the health of the environment. The characters in this game are... Uh, make me cry, because I love them so much. And um, thank you for coming to my talk about how I love the characters in, in CrossCode. Um, I need to get this water bubble over here. Since I've gotten the cold element now, I kind of most likely don't need to do anything else in this dungeon. So I can probably just take the keys that I have and sort of just rush through to get to the end. It's really difficult for me to, like, fully, you know, explain... To, to fully convey the things about this game that make me go insane, that activate my autism so good. I wouldn't even say it's a particularly autistic obsession that I have with this game, it just is my favorite game of all time. Um, come on, I feel like I could get it. Maybe not. Ah. There we go. 
a lot of it has to do with the story and the characters, which you inherently can't really get from um, a randomized playthrough. The other, I mean, the other part of why I love CrossCode so much is, in fact, the combat, which includes, in addition to being viscerally really fun, also includes these puzzle elements, which I think a perfect example are these jellyfish enemies that um, will shoot out water bubbles that are the same kinds of things as uh, the water bubbles that you're solving puzzles with, like that one up there, except that they explode after a bit, which is the same interaction they have when you hit one of those bubbles with the heat element. And if you get it to explode on the jellyfish, then you, you stagger it, and you can get in some hot damage. So every enemy encounter is also a puzzle. And also, as my parasocial girlfriend points out, uh, the music in this game fuck, which is true. What happens if I try to... No, it uh, just becomes... So now I need to get to the right side of the upper deck. No, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight those guys again. I don't- I don't see any reason to pick a fight with them. I know I'm retracing my steps here, but I get lost so very, very, very easily. Um... Okay, yeah, I go here and then up the stairs. And once I do that, and I can stand on the key platform and unlock and then I fall into one of these holes. And I should have fallen into the other hole. You know, let's Let's do that real quick. Let's fall into the correct hole. This one. So I can get the right home key. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not paying attention as to, like, which of these chests I need to be going to. I'm just hitting up whatever checks I have. Uh, so I just unlocked this door. Which leads me to here. Oh. Here, it's like, well, hit this. Uh, I'm like, sure, why not? Um, is my idea here to put the water bubble there and then use the platform to hit it with fire. But I would want to do it from, like, here. I don't think that's possible. Oh, I want to be on this side, I think. Let's put the bubble here. Jump over. Do like this. This will let me hit all of these. Take down this wall. Deep box 
Beatboxing puppy. Beatboxing puppy. Uh, I think I figured out how to get the bubble to pop over here. It'd be something like that. Down there. Or not. Maybe it'll go here. Okay, so that that was what I was supposed to do. I I just wasn't prepared for it to work. <laughs> ah, I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> I want to get this chest. It's right there. It's taunting me. Come on. Gotcha. I'm a genius. It's three golden bars. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see here. For this one, I'm pretty sure I want to be on this platform. So I run all the way around. Put this bubble over here. And do I run back? Is that what I do? Hit this with fire. Let's go. And a fight room. If it wasn't obvious the first time I fought the mods, um, you use these pillars to basically make a light, and the mods are, are drawn to light. And once they're over there, they start flashing red, and you can hit them again to deal massive damage. And that lets me move on. Pretty cool, right? Boss time. I think they named this... No, this is not Tom. What's this guy's name? This is Pinzajarn. Pinzajarn. Oop, ow. Now what, hold on, what is Pinsajarn? He is actually weak to the cold element, so if I use the cold element on him, it'll work. Right, and he's gonna get up and use the cold element, including this big attack. I did not get to do the big attack. There we go! Woo! You love how fast the movement can be. That's because I'm an epic gamer, actually. Um, no, it, it's it's just I I know some tricks on how to go really fast. This is where you get the cold element. Let's see what it gives me instead. Temi flakes. We got Temi Flakes, baby. Aw, uh, yeah. Mike's fuzzy? No. Is my mic my mic fucked up, guys? Is my mic fucked up? It shouldn't be. Please, no. Not my beautiful microphone. It 
something's yeah, something's going on here. Oh shit. I don't know what's wrong with my mic right now. Um... Fixes it. God, I sure hope that fixes it. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. I hope we're good. I can't actually hear it, but it looks better. I'll tell you that much. Okay, now let's solve some puzzles. There's a tiny bit of fuzz when you talk still, but it's an improvement for sure. How long... How long has it been fuzzy? How long has my mic been fucked up, chat? No one told me until now! like that. Now we're getting to learn some more advanced mechanics of water bubble interactions. Namely, that in addition to exploding with the heat element, a water bubble will turn into a hockey puck thing when you hit it with the cold element. And the hockey puck thing is affected by gravity, so it'll fall down. create safe spots on this magma. I've obtained a final dinner? What do you think a final dinner is? This is the ultimate dish, nothing compares. Focus up, defense up, attack up, max HP up for 150 seconds. Might use that in a boss fight sometime, but uh, probably not, <laughs> honestly. I'm gonna forget that it exists. Oh, 
go. With this one, you need to move this bubble into position here. Whack it, and then whack this one. There we go. Get a load of this guy. Here, get a load of this without thinking about him. Um, I'm not sure if I know the him you're referring to. I know the, uh, I always think about the get a load of this guy cam, which I want to say was Wayne's World? I've never seen Wayne's World, but get a load of this guy. Which Sometimes the uh, teenagers at my work will say, get a load of this guy, especially when they're trying to make fun of, like, us, the staff members. And I always find it very funny, every time. Like, yeah, get a load of this guy. Oh, get a load of this guy. <laughs> Let's see. Wayne's World 2. And you know they made a good burger 2 recently. The teenagers at my work also really like good burger. This is just uh, foreshadowing for a big puzzle later. By him, I mean Eggman during the Egg Viper fight in Sonic Adventure. See, I don't know Jack for shit about Sonic Adventure. Myself a kebab roll there. Um, I don't think it was supposed to work like that, but I sure got it to work like that. Ding. Got two doors here. The north door leads to a fight room. The south door leads to a fight room. <laughs> Ugh. Got one. Got one. Come here. Level up. It feels really good to breeze through the fights in this game. Because I have equipment that I'm not supposed to have at this point in the game. Because for the most part, you do still have to do the like puzzle elements. Um, Everything is just like so fast and furious. And it's just really fun, okay? 
Crosscode has, I think, probably the second most immediately fun combat system of any video game ever made. Because unfortunately I do think it is beaten out by Odin Sphere Lifthrasir. Alex may have a new favorite points for Dean. It's, it's just a voice saying beatboxing puppy. It's not even the sound of a puppy beatboxing. It is just a voice that says beatboxing puppy. Very tempted to use all of my 5,000 points on beatboxing puppy. <laughs> to hit Yeah, see, that's... that's the redeem I was waiting for. That's the beatboxing puppy. That's what I'm talking about. Such is the nature of beatboxing puppy, leaving you wanting more. Many such cases. Now, why can't I make this jump, huh? There we go. I think I need to do it like this. Click. Beatboxing puppy real. You've been chilled, idiots. Nice. Look at a daikon. Yeah, thanks. Oh no, is it not gonna let me progress in this room unless I have the key that can open that chest? Oh, I don't have the silver key. Damn it. Yeah, hold on, I'm just gonna go tell Jack of Jackopedia. I'm just gonna go tell Jack to stop streaming. Hey Jack, give up your stream. We want to do my stream now. You're on my stream now. Jack, fuck your stream. Come to my stream, it's better and cooler. Oh, I thought you meant that Jackopedia was streaming Stardew Valley right now. Why can I not go over there? Um, you know what? Pop Tracker, can you tell me what's happening here? I 
I'm currently on the third floor. I cannot get to the right because I don't have the silver key. It looks like there is a couple things that I could do. One thing I could do on the Beatboxing fourth puppy. floor. Beatboxing puppy. It says I should be able to get here, but I really can't. Need to be able to get in this door, which it won't let me. Or somehow go around a different way, which I absolutely cannot do. So. Can't do anything on the fourth floor. And it looks like the only other chests that I have access to are on the first floor. Am I currently on the first floor? Yeah, ground floor. Ground floor, I have three chests that I could get to. One of them is in the left chamber, is that? Am I looking at this correctly? Is there a chest in here that I didn't get? Left chamber two. Well, it's not in left chamber two, it is actually not connected to the left chamber at all. It's connected to the right chamber. Right chamber two. I move north to the test of vigor. Beyond the test of vigor, I can go here. And take this door to go north. If I fall down in the correct spot, I should be able to get there, but maybe not. I'm now in the balance room two, which has a chest down here that I should be able to get to. If I fall in just the right location, which I believe is this one. This hole did not work. I think I know what I need to do now. I'm gonna go back to this one, equip the cold element, fire blindly up here. In order to activate that, because that's gonna take down a wall. And with that wall down, I can fall in this hole and move on to this location, which has a couple of Tims. See, it's Tim. But you have to catch a Tim on fire before you can start uh, dealing damage to it. Crunch. is dead. That gave me a second hide, which is not a good piece of armor. It's just that there's a chest right there, you know? I can 
get to that chest by falling onto this hole, doing this, and then falling onto the hole down below that one. See? Puzzle Tommy. That got me a Bright Bracer, which is also not going to be very good, right? Equipment. The Bright Bracer it will give me better defense and focus. Wow, thanks. I don't care about that. Nor do I care about status rush. Huh. I just need to figure out how I can fall over here. I need to get into that door. Uh, but that probably just means I need to do this. Go past the first hole here and fall into this one. Because now I can hop over here and ricochet to hit that. That'll take down that wall. Leave. This is the right one. Perfect. And over here we've got sand sharks. Easy. And inside this chest, the sneaky shiv. A lot better for attack, good focus, and bullseye. You get slightly less HP regen, but I don't think that really matters. Upgrade to damage is an upgrade to damage, you know? And I believe I'm missing one more in uh, Fire and Sand 2 over here. This is Test of Memory 2, not Fire and Sand 2. How do I get to Fire and Sand 2? I have to go backwards to the Test of Try. Yes, there is a chest that I'm missing here. I need to somehow... Somehow I need to be up on this level, but with this in this position. Ha ha ha! I'm a genius! And I get seven glow pairs for all that effort. These are all of the chests that I can possibly open uh, in this dungeon right now. I feel fairly confident in saying that. I cannot get to anywhere else here. So I'm going to return to baki -kun. Do you have any favorite Criterion films? I probably have a film that I like that is considered a Criterion film, but I gotta be real with you, I don't really know what films are Criterion films. I don't really know what the distinction is, so uh, 
can't help you there. Is, um... Is Head a Criterion film? I think it was called Head with the, the Monkeys film. It should be a it should be a Criterion film that movie owns. Yeah, I'm not at all like familiar with the catalog of Criterion films as Criterion films. I, like I might know some of the movies that they've published, but. Uh, I couldn't tell you that they were Criterion films. They really don't have anything to say to me. This is for a uh, different side quest. The, the leader of the Shad in Baki Poon didn't have anything to say to me. Beatboxing Puppy. Beatboxing Puppy. Here's another one of these weird looking characters. goal for my own progression would be to get that key, the white key. So I guess I should ask Hint Machine where my white key is? Unless, now that I have the cold element, maybe, 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 maybe I can go back to Virgin and try to hit up this side quest chain again. These guys. There's supposed to be more to this side quest chain. Seven Samurai, Robocop, Oliver Twist, Armageddon by Michael Bay, Monty Python's Life of Brian. I have never seen any of these films. Gotta be real, I don't know any of those movies. Here's the, like, Cable 2 is full of a lot of film buffs. I am not one of them. I don't watch very many movies at all. So, like... You know, unless Criterion had a hand in, like, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou or something. I don't... My two favorite movies are freaking Oh Brother, Where Art Thou and uh, School of Rock. I don't think either of those are Criterion films. I took some film classes in college. That's the reason that I know the film Head by the Monkeys. But, um... It's kind of the only film that I came out of my film classes, like, really enjoying. They made me watch Silence of the Lambs in that class, which, that's a good movie. I just wish it wasn't so transphobic. Science of the Lands is on the Criterion Collection. Well, so is the Beastie Boys video and Now see, now we're talking about cinema. The Beastie Boys video, 
video anthology, now we're talking cinema. be hanging out in the Cable 2 Discord server voice chat, and then some people will come in and start talking about movies that they've seen, and I just, like, completely check out of the conversation at that point because I haven't seen the movies and I don't know what they're talking about. Um, so, like, I have nothing to contribute to any conversation about film. Which is weird, because I have a whole mass media degree and I took film classes. I know things about the filmmaking process. I just don't watch movies all that often. Preemptive debugging complete. I now have the red flame shade, which means... I can get to Maroon Valley. Come on, babes, we're going to Maroon Valley. Let's go. Oh, well, this is... Wait, Maroon's Valley is connected to Autumn's Rise. We're in Autumn's Rise, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Let's run around Autumn's Rise for a while, fill out our map before we start doing anything. I feel like I made it to Autumn's Rise before in this in this session, but considering that I don't have any map data for the place, I must not have. I love Autumn's Rise. It, it makes me very happy that we have Autumn's Rise and Autumn's Fall. We're not watching this cutscene. Goodbye. It wants me to do the hologram frobic quest. I will come back to it later. I like the hologram frobic quest. Apparently, most of the people involved in uh, involved in the the Crosscode Archipelago projects don't like the Hologram Frobbit quest. I like it. I think it's fun. It has, it has a lot of stages. It's... It's intentionally annoying in a way that makes it not annoying at all to me. I, I find it genuinely funny. Have I been saying Maroon Valley when I mean Gaia's Garden? I'm trying to get to Gaia's Garden. I already have access to Maroon Valley, that's where Baki Kun is. I 
I need the star shade in order to get to Gaia's garden. Well then what's the name to the place that they're in the north of here? What's up here? I thought this was Gaia's garden. I thought this was Gaia's garden, and then over here is Sapphire Ridge. Maybe I'm crazy. Rune 5 of... You know, I bet most people have their feelings on the color maroon primarily shaped by their feelings on the band Maroon 5, but I went to a college that has maroon as one of their, like, main colors, so everything was, you know, maroon, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, maroon is good. Maroon's fine. But, uh... I need the white key. Let's open up Pop Tracker and uh, have a look around. See what I'm missing here. Oh, yeah. Training quest. There's training quest. Is this game trying to tell me that the nerd uh, has quests that I'm supposed to do? to offer me a quest, so... Unless they're down here. Well, his quests don't want to give me anything good. I don't care about this cutscene. I don't need your help. Are any of Edgar Wright's films in the Criterion Collection? The Criterion films? He's probably my uh, favorite director. What the hell do you want me to do here, man? I wanna. I do wanna rewatch Hot Fucks as well. <laughs> Hot Fucks is a good, uh, good film.
Um, this one. Come on. Oh, come on, I know you can do it. Come on. There we go. Hit the target ten times without missing. Easy game. Tests. All targets without missing in 10 seconds. Easy. I fucking missed. So, Alex and I just finished watching... Um, Scott Pilgrim Takes Off, the Scott Pilgrim anime. And I'm trying to convince her to watch the Edgar Wright Scott Pilgrim live-action movie with me next, because I like that movie a lot, and I want to watch it again. <laughs> Alex has warned me that she intends to, like, be really mean at the movie. Which... will be very funny, I think. I love, like, riffing on movies. I think it's very fun. have done this quest before, because my original playthrough of CrossCode before the DLC came out was a 100% like all quests playthrough. I played, I beat every single quest of the game. But I'm very surprised that the game teaches you dash canceling, because that's a thing that I feel like I found organically on my own as a way to bully the hedgehogs in the starting area. Pop Tracker says that I've missed a chest in the marketplace. That one. Which involves me jumping up some boxes somewhere, I think. Or jumping off here. And over, down here, across, and up. I think the thing about Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the film, is that much like Edgar Wright's other movies, it's really gratuitous. 
And this film came out in like 2010, right? Uh, and it's full of video game references, and that was sort of novel at the time. But uh, because it's so over the top, looking back on it nowadays, it's probably kind of cringy. Probably. What am I doing over here? Yeah, the novelty of gratuitous video game references felt insultingly pandering. See, uh, yes, prob it probably is. I just enjoyed it at the time. I liked being pandered to in that way at that time. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll be especially interesting for Alex who um, will be seeing the movie with the context of what happens in the anime, which, without spoiling too much, it does not follow the same plot as the film. Nor of the comics, I'm pretty sure. I've only read the first two of the comics, but I'll probably read more of them because I'm having a really fun time revisiting Scott Pilgrim. I feel like I am running out of things to do. I can make myself try and find all the chests in Virgin, even though it's going to kill me. I hate Virgin Village. I, I hate Virgin Village. It has an annoying song that plays during it. Nya, 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 nya. And it's, the layout is confusing, and it's too cramped, and the platforming is god-awful, and this is like the only place in the game where I really can't stand the, the platforming challenges that it makes me do. Everyone who has played CrossCode is like, yes, this game is perfect, in 99% of areas, except for the, the platforming is the one part that people don't like because it's difficult to tell distances with this top-down, semi-isometric perspective. And they're right. But still, you know? But still, like, I don't mind it most of the time. And I, I like how it incentivizes the exploration and trying things out and trying to get places that you feel like you're not supposed to go. Rat Clown Car dropped a follow. And as far as I know, dropped a follow without saying anything in chat. Hello, welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're here. That I have the heat element, it should be easier for me to come across some of the chests in this place.
Like, I can go over here now and grab this chest. Did I ever get this? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's how I get to Maroon Valley. over here that I can get now. Chasing down new December, folks, but I can't spoil this one for myself since I've been foolishly putting off my own playthrough for years. I am not part of the Cable 2 team that's going to be doing stuff for December, but I'm sure the ones that are doing December stuff are going to be very excited to meet you when they start doing those stream. I don't know very much about December. Um, but... I'm glad you're here, I'm glad you're following so you can uh, keep up when we start getting on all that good, good, good stuff. <laughs> and uh, you are perfectly fine for not wanting to get this game spoiled. It says I've got another quest in the Trader's Den. It's a lie. There is a goat there, though. I think in order to get at that goat, I have to go around this way. Yeah, there we go. This is the quest I got from, like, the town guard. I'm supposed to find this goat. Follow the goat kid and catch him. have anything left to say. Which probably means I should end stream. Probably. Six cup o coffees. Beatboxing puppy. Beatboxing puppy. Oh, there's the goat. We get to it by getting on top of this roof. this goat and it goes into there. Beatboxing, Beatboxing puppy. puppy. Now I 
and bring the goat back to the guard. check my quests and see if there's anything that I need to do that... Uh, yeah. This one this one will get something for Mish that looks like it's probably a health item, which will be pretty important. Let's see what this one... I don't really want this quest. Frosty Challenge will get me a 1-up. Completing both of these will get me a Pepper Knight Tea. That's a Circuit Override. I never found the Data Probe for Virgin Trail. I don't really know where the hell the data probe is. And unless it's like listed somewhere. <sighs> On Pop Tracker. I think finding this data probe will be good. Um, I just need to get to the crosscode wiki real quick. Virgin data code. This says it's an old plateau. Trail. Yeah, I don't think I, I need to go back to this frozen cave that's over here. Yeah. This way and into this cave. And there's our probe right there. Virgin probe obtained. Now I just head back to the researcher guy. I think his name is Henry. Turn in a quest. And then I'll probably end stream. Hello, Henry. Here's your data. Cinnamon bun! Alright. Cinnamon bun.
I mean, I heart all. Yeah, I think that's everything I really want to do today. So, I'll make a nice little save. And, I will uh, bid you all adieu, as Emily might say. Thanks for tuning in to stream, everybody. Thanks for hanging out on Link Cable Disconnected with me and only me. We'll be back next week with a real episode of Link Cable. Um, and I hope you enjoy gaming and movies and, uh, anything that tickles your fancy. And hey, as we always say here on Link Cable, uh, okay, bye!